Tony Cassiope came to a training camp and the potential was very evident, let's just say that. Iowa was a little bit of an eye opener for him. I think he was a little bit limited in, you know, what college wrestling was all about or what a high powered program was all about. And, you know, he saw firsthand how we operate and I think he speaks the same language. When we saw when he started to grow up in his training, when we saw what he could do, you start to feel really good about, you know, where he's headed. First start in Carver with the fall. That's a pretty good debut right there for Tony Cassiope. Started playing flag football when I was six, tackle football when I was seven. I played basketball a couple years, baseball, played soccer. You know, I think it's good to be good at multiple sports and it's good to be a multi-sport athlete. Tony, put your hands here, like, like this. I boxed from when I was 11 till through high school. Well, my dad's great uncle, Sammy Mandel, was a world champion back in like the 20s. So boxing's kind of in my blood, I guess. And my dad had always wanted to box, but his parents wouldn't let him. So when I showed an interest, my parents got me into it. It's, I mean, it's a lot like wrestling because it's one-on-one. -on -one. You know, there's a lot less techniques than there is in wrestling. There's so many moves in wrestling. In boxing, my boxing coach would always say, the name of the game is to hit and not get hit. Boxing is a combat sport. So yes, it's one-on-one. -on -one. You got to get yourself ready to go. You're out there competing against another human being. There's not a whole lot of intervention if things start to go haywire. The highlights that I've seen with him, not much went haywire. You know, I, I watched a video where he's this, you know, I hate to describe him this way, but he's this chubby little short guy. And there's this big Dolph Lundgren, Rocky movie type. That whistle blew and the bell rang and, I mean, it was like a hurricane and a hammer on an anvil all at once. Tony was just, I mean, he hit that guy so many times in so many different directions. He, the guy didn't know which way was up. It's one on one. I love that about wrestling, boxing, kickboxing. Go out there and if I win, it's on me. And if I lose, it's my fault. And I got that immediate feedback of what I need to do to get better. You talked about Cassiope and somebody that you can gravitate towards. What is adding him to the lineup? Well, if you look, he just walked in. If you look at his face back, he's got a big smile on his face. So he adds a big smile to our lineup. And it's a big one. It's like a big old jack o' lantern. Is that a compliment? I mean, I think so. Happy guy, I'm always smiling. <laughs> it's funny though, uh, my, my front tooth, both of these teeth are fake. So uh, <laughs> when I break them, I've actually used like the, the pumpkin emoji because it has like, I don't know why. I'm a happy guy, I don't know. I had a plant in my room and in my office and that plant made me really happy. So I named him, named the plant Tony, and I put Tony's big smiley face on the side of the pot, on the pottery that the plant was in. And um, he just, he's a happy, funny guy that brings energy, brings energy. But he's very serious about what he wants to get done in the sport of wrestling as well. We love his energy. Tony Cassiope for the Hawkeyes, taking on the number three seed, Matt Stencil of Central Michigan. You know, I've learned different things from every match, just that I need to keep improving. You know, I've really settled in my routine. Drives it way high in the air, over the edge of the mat, and he gets it all the way treetop. My boxing coach would always say that I have a killer instinct. You know, I'd be able to know when, when they're on the ropes and when to put the pressure on, and I think that applies to wrestling and life in general. You know, I know what I need to do to get to that next step know what I need to do to, you know, just keep improving. And he is your champion for this year's Midlands. The Heartland is brought to you by U.S. Cellular. Avoid breakdowns in coverage with U.S. Cellular. IV, where there's a helpful smile in every aisle. IV proudly supports the Iowa Hawkeyes.
had good preparation. You guys are ready to play. You're ready to win a football game. Uh, what we got to do now is go out and earn it. Go out and do it. Seniors are going to lead. Everybody's best as expected. The seniors lead. All right, we're playing smart. We're playing sound. We're playing physical. That never changes. And let's make sure we're the play team that plays the hardest, plays the hungriest, and we play together. Those three things. Go the hardest, be the hungriest, and let's stay together. That's it. Let's go, baby boys! Ah, San Diego, the city of beaches, parks, art, and home to the 42nd Holiday Bowl. Matching the 16th-ranked Iowa Hawkeyes and the 22nd-rated Southern California Trojans. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, everybody, from the Hawkeye Radio Network. I'm Gary Dolphin, alongside former Hawkeye great Ed Podolak, and looking forward to a terrific game. The 9-3 and three Hawkeyes versus the 8-4 and four Pac-12 Southern California Trojans. Let's go on three. One, two, three. Let's go. Double receiver right, single receiver left. That's Brandon Smith. See if he can make a play. Here comes the uh, delayed blitz. Stanley has time. Throws caught. First down. Brandon Smith. Southern Cal rushing four. Here's Stanley. A deep drop. Throws down the middle of the field. Has a man open. Caught. That's Regani. Regani dances inside the 25 to the Southern Cal 22-yard line. The first big play of the game. He got inside the 25 and the Hawks are in business. Stanley is in the gun. He's got a running back off each shoulder pad. Sargent and Goodson with a couple wide receivers. They run a double reverse, so the Hawks have it blocked. Here come Tyrone Tracy. Touchdown. Touchdown, Iowa. Touchdown, Hawkeyes, on the opening drive of the night. Now, would you call that a wide open offense to begin the game? Wow. We saw everything in that in that series of plays there. Way to go, Hawk. Oh, oh, good. Good start. That's the way to finish that thing. Good job out there, folks. It's going to be plenty of opportunity. Slot receiver goes in motion. That's St. Brown. Here's Slovis. He's looking for it. Fires into the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. Makai Sargent comes into the game. He gets the handoff. Turns the corner short side. Got the first down. 40, 35, 30. Still on his feet. Stanley sends Amir Smith Marset in motion. They give it to him on a reverse. Amir Smith gets a corner turn. Touchdown! Touchdown, Iowa! Touchdown! No flags! And Amir Smith Marset gets the lead back. He ran to the wide side of the field, all of a sudden reverse motion. Stanley put it right on his belly button, and he was off to the end zone. Second down, ball near the Iowa 16. Slovis back to pass, oh, and a touchdown. And here's the boot, this is returnable by Amir smith Marset. Takes it at the two, far side of the field. Angles across the field, slots, sl uh, slides his way through a tackle. He's in open space. Look out, midfield, 45-40. Nobody going to catch him. Touchdown, Iowa. Shades of C.J. Jones. No flags. No flags. Touchdown, Iowa. That's the way to answer that USC score. And Iowa's back in front. He did the same thing there that he did against Nebraska. Don't kick it to me. They do it. I don't know why. Here we go. Here comes the blitz. Hawks pick it up. Stanley rifles it downfield. It is caught. Spectacular throw and a catch by Nico Regani. 21-14. Empty backfield. Five receivers for Stanley. He stands back. Now steps up. Throws. Brandon Smith has it. Maybe another first down. Again, Stanley goes empty. He lobs it to the slot man. Smith, look out. Five. Goal line. Touchdown. Touchdown, Iowa. Amir smith Marset setting the high. Holiday Bowl on fire. What an offensive firepower on display here with the Iowa offense. I said it before. He said, he said I could have that play right yesterday. He said I could have it and he took it. That's true. But I told him it's easy. First and 10 at the USC 40. The Trojans trailing 28 17. Four receivers. He wants it all. Throws it down the middle of the field. Going for his man. Has it caught at the five yard line of Iowa. It'll be first and goal. I mean, you can't throw the ball any better than that. See if the Hawks can throw him back with a shortened field. Out of the shotgun snap. They run straight ahead and Carr plows into the end zone. Well, that was easy. Let's see if they kick it away from him. Oh man, they run an onside kick and it looks like Southern Cal has it. 
Looks like Southern Cal has a trick plays all over the place tonight, Ed. Yeah, a kick the kicker recovers it himself. He just dribbles it down the field. 28-24, Iowa's lead is a precarious four points. First and ten at the Hawkeye 44. Hawks need to stiffen here on a play fake. And there's a pass knocked out of the uh, hands of Slovis. And is the ball recovered by Iowa or USC? Looks like the Trojans got back on it. A.J. Epinesa coming off the edge, knocked the ball loose from Slovis. And Slovis is it looks like he's coming out of the game. Third and ten here. Here's a fake on the draw handoff. Now fake running for his life. He's smothered and dropped. Nick Neiman the outside linebacker came on a blitz and Fink panicked early and then went to the ground at midfield. That is a seven-yard loss. <laughs> USC rushes four, passes caught, first down. First down at the 35-yard line. Tremendous concentration by Sam Laporta again. Ball right in the middle of the field as the Hawkeye approach midfield. Stanley airs it out on a fade pattern. It is caught. Caught at the 20-yard line by Amir smith Barset. First and 10, Iowa. Now there's a beautiful throw, too, right over the cornerback. He was only a step behind. What a day Amir smith Barset is having. How about Nate Stanley? They're not backing down. The Hawks had the momentum against them, and now they're taking it back. Even balanced line. Stanley's going to sneak forward. He's still going, still on his feet. Down to the five, still going. Inside the five to the three-yard line. Are you kidding me? That is uh, just power. You just said power football, and that's what it is right here. Hawks up for third and goal at the USC goal line. And here is a touchdown. Touchdown, Iowa. They hand off the right side. Tyler Goodson, the freshman. Oh, they cheated both safeties up over center, thinking Stanley was going to go again. And he drove out to his right, handed the ball off to Goodson, and he did the rest. Second down, call it a long five. Think back to pass. Fires immediately to Pittman. Michael Pittman with the first down, makes the catch, and the ball is out. The ball is out. There it is. Well, we'll take that. Oh, I yes. prefer a jumping of the route for a pick six. Oja Mudia laid the wood to Pittman right as the ball arrived. Gain of two. They need, oh. they need one for a first down, and the ball is loose. The snap, I don't think the quarterback was waiting for the football or knew it was coming, and the Hawkeyes are saying they're on it. It is the Hawkeyes. Iowa football at the five-yard line. The snap was a little bit high and went right through the hands of the quarterback, Matt Fink. That way! Oh. Yeah. To the left side. Ball in the near hash. Brandon Smith's side. Jump ball, perhaps. Here's Stanley. He looks at Brandon Smith. Now steps up in the pocket. He's going to run, try and run for it. Now he throws it, and it's caught. Caught for a touchdown. Touchdown, Iowa. There is a flag in the end zone. Holding against the defense. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. Brandon Smith. <laughs> 42 24 Hawkeyes. They need to hold on for a minute 52 with this defense. Pickoff, interception. Demon with the pick. Is it a pick six? It is. Touchdown, Iowa. Touchdown. Touchdown, Hawkeyes. Touchdown, Dick Demon. statement victory by the Iowa Hawkeyes. The final score, Iowa 49 and the University of Southern California 24. birthplace Philadelphia it's Big Ten basketball from here on out good afternoon everybody I'm Gary Dolphin along with former Hawkeye great Bobby Hanson and how appropriate 
that the oldest Division I conference in America competes in one of its storied facilities, the Palestra, built in 1927. This is the way college basketball was meant to be played, at least for most of the past century. Miles Dredd got it inside to watch as he tripped over his own feet. Weiss camp for three in the corner. Good. The Hawkeyes lead it 3-1. Five to shoot. Two shot for Connor. He throws up a three. Good. O'Connor kicks it out to Frederick. CJ's quick three is no good. Rebounded by Garza. Up and in. The Hawkeye bigs are working over the Lions inside. They really are. The Hawks have a four-point lead now. There's a pass to the other Joe. Wieskamp, he drives inside, misses the floater in the lane. Garza gets the putback and a foul. Luca Garza, cat quick off his feet. Now has the ball knocked away, gets it back to Garza. Luca with a spin move, baseline up and in. Beautiful move by Garza. Now into the corner to Tucson for three. It's good. And the Hawks grab the lead to start the second half. Here's Wieskamp for three in the lead. Good for the Hawkeyes. Here's Wieskamp, they clear it out for him, and he takes Hera to the cleaners. On a crossover dribble, left wing to the baseline, and then to the basket. 89-86, Penn State with the win. Penn State will come to Iowa City in February. That's a game you won't want to miss. The Heartland is brought to you by Mediacom. Today's broadcast is powered by Extreme. Feel the power of amazingly fast internet, up to one gig. University of Iowa Healthcare, changing medicine, changing lives. To Sinano, back to Olinger, right-handed layup is good. Nice ball movement and work by Sinano and Olinger. Marshall, free throw line extended right, fires a three-pointer, yes. nothing but net for Gabby Marshall, and that gets Joe McEwen off the Northwestern bench and a quick timeout. Road wins are special. Uh, the road wins are really hard to come by in the Big Ten. Uh, we only play Northwestern once this year, so it was a really important game because if it comes down to a tiebreaker, we now bump ahead of them, and uh, we know this is a good Northwestern team that, um, you know, maybe we caught them on a bad night shooting, but I hope it had something to do with our defense as well. Inside Sonato, left-handed oh, layup is good. Yeah. And a chance for a three-point play as she was pushed underneath. I think a lot of our passes were really direct and crisp and um, just smart passes overall, like high IQ passing. Um, and that really led to our teammates getting open and really finding the next person. And that's what Iowa basketball is all about. So I think we did a really good job with that today. Warnock twists in the paint <laughs> and goes glass. McKenna Warnock, what a move. Doyle along the baseline, strong move, and she goes glass. And Kathleen Doyle with seven. Yeah, it was an awesome win for us on the road, and we, we struggled on our first road game, so I'm really proud of the way we bounced back and learned from our mistakes that first time. And we're on a roll now, so we just want to keep that going and get better every day. Hawkeyes with a big victory here in Evanston by the final score of 77 to 51. Put this one away in the fourth quarter. Latham High Tech Seeds is proud to partner with the Iowa men's basketball team by raising money for every free throw made by the Hawks all season long through the Hawkeye Charity Stripe promotion. All proceeds will benefit the American Cancer Society and Coaches versus Cancer program right here in the state of Iowa. Latham High Tech Seeds, cheering on the Hawkeyes from the free throw line and helping with cancer awareness efforts all across the state of Iowa.